Don't pay for a house family that's Nigerian. Don't pay for an Indian family. Don't pay for an Asian family. Don't pay for like a Filipino family. Everyone said Nigerian house families are terrible, so I'm not going on a Nigerian. Hey y'all, let's talk about race. So, don't pay for a house family that's Nigerian. Don't pay for an Indian family. Don't pay for an Asian family. Don't pay for like a Filipino family. Listen, these are all things I have seen either on Facebook, Instagram, in groups in the au pair world, or I've heard, which I genuinely get and I understand, especially if you're an au pair that's gone through frustrations with those type of races, I understand. However, this is what I say specifically to the newbie au pairs, that when you read stuff like that online or when you read stuff in general about the au pair world, my channel included, always make sure you do research and always trust your gut because what could happen is you could miss out on an amazing family just because you're scared to go with a Nigerian family or with an Indian family or with an Asian family just because you saw somebody else's post. You also need to realize that there are still terrible people out there. Now, obviously there are values and principles that you wanna align with and you're okay with. Funny enough, I think I've spoken about this. I'm Christian and I'm like, I have an actual relationship with God and I do stuff and I value my religion. And I matched with a family who was Hindu and they also had an actual relationship with God. Now I'm 101% sure that my rematch didn't happen because they they were Hindu and I was Christian, you know, but it, they were still great people. It was just like they what they wanted in an au pair was not what I was and vice versa. And so I always say, be careful when you say, oh, you, like when you tell people don't rematch, I mean, don't match with a family who's a specific race. Because I feel like you're grouping every country or every race into one thing. Um, I would say if you feel hesitant or you feel like you shouldn't match with a family, it mustn't be just because of their, it mustn't be because of their race. You don't feel comfortable with the how the interview went or how the situation was or whatever. It mustn't be because, oh, everyone said Nigerian host families are terrible, so I'm not going to the Nigerian. I don't think that's wise. I would highly recommend going against it because even with my current host family, funny enough, this was like my first black host family I ever had. And when I, like, I didn't even speak about it, to be honest. I was just like, oh, it's just a host family. I didn't even know a thing of like not choosing races was a thing in the au pair world. And then when I got to my host family and I was like talking to somebody in an au pair who was here like a few years ahead of me. And she was like, oh my gosh, like literally telling me the worst things that had happened to her. And she was like, dude, I feel like you should rematch. I don't know if it's safe for you. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's safe. They've been great so far. But she had such a horror story that she was just like, um, black families are not the greatest. You shouldn't go for them. But I would have missed out on such a great host family now because my host family is amazing. I had to be like, I get it. And I'm glad you care for me if things go south. Speaking about interviews going bad, I have a PDF. I will put it in the comment section for questions you should ask host families. So if you're in a matching, matching process these are actual questions i asked my current host family of four years who's sponsoring me who loves me we have a great match that whole thing i created an exact um a pdf oh the george i created in the, a pdf um with all the words and all the questions and all the things i used when i was asking them um it helped me i just wanted to come into it super prepared even if you don't like let's say you do have an interview with a family and you want to decline them I show you words on how to like decline it in a nice way that you're not like like making enemies because you never know you could be in rematch in the future and they could be also in the pool it's happened to my friend um you could be in the pool or you could be extending and that same family who was maybe your runner up or your second is in there if i was somebody who just got yet this was like when i returned if i was somebody who just got yet or was in still their home country and had seen all these things and had seen a lot of people say don't go i could have missed out on a really great family and so my thing is this if you are considering matching with a certain type of race and let's say au pairs like oh my gosh this race is like this like this like this but you have a piece and your gut is like i don't see any red flag i think they're good and i'm talking about like inner peace you know trust your gut if you're like i'm like you want to go with them but you're thinking more on what other people say then I don't think that's helpful. I think it must come from you. And even if you make a mistake, you rather learn from it than miss out on like something that could have been amazing for you.